Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here, coming to you a video about how I'm going to take some tires off and swap them. So, I got my, my tire machine bolted down. It's a homemade tire machine. A little truck differential. And it worked really great. And I just got it bolted onto a little cement pad about a foot thick. So, that sucker not going anywhere. So the tires we're going to be doing today are this one, this one, and this one. This tire, this rim I'm selling with my uh, other three over here. But I want to keep a spare tire for the back of my truck, fold in the box. So I'm taking this tire off because it's the best. It's a uh, dirt track. So I'm taking that tire off and I'm swapping it with this one. This is the same size. This is a mud terrain. So, yeah. Both of them for a 16 inch rim. So, I'm going to be swapping that out. And this is my spare rim. It's a little bit narrower, but it'll work with uh, that tire on it. So, I'll have to get to doing this. The tools I'm using is uh, just a one inch bar to give it some uh, lever to apply the tire off and my uh, tire two I made you got a flat end and this ended like a hook so yeah you got the drill over here with the wire wheel in case it's a little bit dirty the bead around the middle got a rag and I got some normal with soap and water in a bottle so, I have to get to doing this. Alright, with this guy, take the valve out, line it up around the bead here, and crank her down. There we go. This is a bigger military tire. Lift it up on top. And one of the pins, and we screw the this back on. If it's not, if it's too big, then I might have to put a spacer in here. But we'll have to see. All the spacers are a piece of steel. Flop it down like that. Put a couple cranks on it. Get your soap and water, spray it around. Okay, the tire tool, stick it out like that. Stick the tire tool, stick it like that. Push this end down, pry this over like that. Put it on this side and crank it. You guys, you want to put it on the back lip like this. Now on this side, you need to crank it around like this. I'm doing this big guy one-handed. Should you use two hands, which Ooh. Not one tire off. 
This is a heavy duty military tire. Or a semi truck tire. One of the two. I think a 12 ply. It's really heavy. But it kind of go flat, so it's not good to us. Put set that to the side. So this is the spare rim. It looks like it's an eight inch. Yeah, and that one is a 10 inch rim. So we take this tire off, put it on that rim, and take that tire off and put it on this room. So, yeah. This is, it's gonna be a little more, not gonna be so wide, because I nail a rim. But it'll be fine for a spare tire. So, undo this and put the other one on. There we go. So much more easier. Oh God, that heavy tire. <sighs> Spacer ring. Dandy soap and water. Whew. He's a hot one out. Like you're saying, you put it in there. Put it down on this side, flip it around. Now see you guys, there's a 10 inch and there's an 8 inch, a little 2 inch difference, but this will be good for a spare, so yeah. Now we gotta take this one off this old VNW rim, so we're doing that. Okay guys, got the other tire off, so I'm gonna take this old one, it's still whole there. Just a little bit uh, less grippy. And I put on the rim I'm selling to match the other ones because the other ones are pretty bald. So, first step, cleaned it up, which I did with a wire wheel. Or I did it with the drill. 
the edge so it nice it seals nice and good. Put some soap and water, spray some on the tire and rim and slip that guy on there. You can go overboard with it. Same on the tire. Make sure you're nice and clean. Spray some more on there. So you can almost push it on by yourself. But I recommend to There we go. Now this is the tricky part. Place them on. Place them on the other tool. I'm using this end. Hook it onto the rim like that against the bar on this side and spin it and push down. Spin, push down. These bigger tires are tricky, but it's kind of going on like that. Well guys, putting it on the normal way, not working, so a little bit of brake clean. And it's a long stick. I'm going to go and spray the surrounding area. You never know. There we go. There we go. Aw, oh, it wasn't enough. guys but how you put the tire on you buy some uh, good old brake clean non-sponsored and yeah get a long stick with a rag spray some on there and fill up the tire and rim with a little bit of brake clean a couple seconds like five six seconds and make sure you force some air through it because you're not going to make a little explosion if you don't do that. So Next I'm going to take this tire, put it on that rim, but it should be easier because that rim is only an 8 inch, not a 10. So yeah, I get to doing this. The tire is a little bit dirty. Take like a rag and just wipe it off.
bi-directional. Slap it up on. Little fashion little bar. Pop it in there. Edge it a little bit more. Spray some some water. Like this end. Push your tire in and do a little bit at a time. There we go. Okay, 305-7016 is on an 8 inch, 16 uh, inch rim. Listen for two explosions. One. Take the valve cam and put it in. But in pretty good shape, this tire, so it should last for a spare tire in case one of my brand new ones die. And there we go. Well, I have. Well, I hope hope you guys enjoy. 